if passed in the House, the Inflation Reduction Act would become the largest climate investment in U.S. history, worth over $300 billion. For more, let's bring in the president and CEO of the Natural Resources Defense Council, Manish Bapna. Manish, thank you for joining ABC News Live. Delighted to be here. So let me ask you this. Why is this bill important for Congress to pass? I mean, it would represent the single largest investment in clean energy and climate in U.S. history. Uh, as you noted, $370 billion uh, to help us transition the power sector, electricity to solar and wind, to help accelerate the shift towards electric, cleaner vehicles, to make uh, improvements in our homes and our offices, to be able to actually get greater efficiency, cleaner air. Um, it would be unprecedented, full stop. Yeah, you know, we've been asking for quite some time what needs to be done to really turn the direction of climate change. So is this bill enough? What needs to be done? So this is a very significant step forward to helping meet uh, the target that President Biden made about a year and a half ago to reduce greenhouse gas emissions by 50 percent or about half by the year 2030. So this gets us more than half the way there, but we still have a bit more work to get to where we need to get to by 2030. But the good news in this bill, what this bill demonstrates is that this is a good bill, not only in terms of climate action, this makes good economic sense. It's a bill that is about how to save household energy costs. It's a bill about jobs and innovation. It's a bill about greater energy security. So this is, this is a story that is not just about climate, it's about good economics as well. And Manish, as you know, this is not a done deal. What, what's at stake here if it falls through in the House? Well, all eyes are on the House. They're planning to vote on it on Friday. We believe that they will take this forward. It is a, a signature item that will be absolutely critical. I mean, my, my son is 12 years old today. He's going to be, you know, 20 in 2030. He's going to be 40 in 2050. Uh, our children, our grandchildren, are going to look at us and what we do at this moment. So I feel the House will, will come through, will pass this, it will be signed, and it will be a fairly significant step forward in creating a more inclusive, a more resilient, a more dynamic economy. Manish, we just heard President Biden I'm talking about climate change as he stood in front of the devastation caused by the flooding in eastern Kentucky. What's the connection here? Talk about the connection between the economy and climate. I mean, we, when we think about the connection between climate and the economy, we should be both looking at the cost of inaction and the benefits of action. So what you saw President Biden today is visiting people that are getting hit hard by climate impacts today here in this country. Eight out of 10 people live in a county that has experienced an extreme weather event in the last five years. This is happening now. We also want to look at the other parts of this conversation, which is the benefits of acting on climate. The fact that it is about creating more jobs. There's 3.2 million clean energy jobs across the country today. This bill is going to add hundreds of thousands of new jobs and help accelerate that growth. It's about electricity costs. It's about innovation. It's about energy security. But there are some things in this bill, just to be also very upfront about it, that we don't like, that we think are unfortunate. But uh, at this point, overall, we still feel the bill is, is, is very, very positive. Yeah, and as people pick up the pieces from the destruction, the devastation, how can they better serve and protect their communities amid concerns of climate? I mean, to be engaged, to be engaged politically in terms of who you vote for uh, in state houses in Washington, and also to be engaged locally in your community, working with your neighbors, with, your, uh, with other folks in your town, get involved on the types of climate solutions that at the community level we need to take forward. One should never underestimate the power of example. When you do something and your neighbors do something, how quickly that can actually catch on and help shift the momentum towards a cleaner, fair, better world for all. All right, we will leave it there. President and CEO of the Natural Resources Defense Council, Manish Bapna, thank you for joining us. Thank you, great to be with you. 
Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel. And don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.